So there's a very common singles volleying mistake, and it has to do with the strategy of where you aim. I'm going to show you what that strategy mistake is so you don't lose the point just like this. Now, this video is courtesy of Jay Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I'll put their link in the description below. All right, let's watch this point in its entirety, then we'll diagram it. So here's the really common situation. You get the player in red coming to the net, and he volleys it into the open court. And you think, well, what's wrong with that? But then all of a sudden, the baseliner hits a down-the-line shot that the player in red cannot put his racket on. So let's watch. And this is Axel Geller, by the way, one of the top former top junior players in the world playing for Stanford. The mistake is in this situation right here. When you are the net player in singles and you're looking to hit into the open court, you've got the baseliner. I mean, look how far back he is. He's so far behind the baseline. What you need to do is aim short into the service box. You have to make this volley land short. That way it can leave the court using the sideline. If we look at the shot that Axel hits, he hits the ball deep. By hitting the ball deep, we can see where this ball lands. It lands in that back left quadrant. When the ball lands deep, it's actually a shorter distance for the baseliner to get it. And the baseliner actually gets to stay behind the baseline getting this ball rather than having to run all the way up here. This volley should be going into the service box and then the second bounce needs to be landing near the doubles line. The vast majority of players in this situation, recreational, you even see pros making this mistake, is they see this situation, they think, I'm going to volley deep without realizing all that does is shorten the distance for the baseliner to run this ball down. So when you're in singles and you're looking to hit it into the open court, practice hitting it into the service box. And you can hit it with speed. The ball, doesn't, the ball shouldn't go up off your racket. The ball should go forward and then immediately down, and it will leave the court at an angle. This way, you don't lose the point when you actually were in perfect position to win it. Look, when you're playing singles, it's important to take advantage of every opportunity you get to win. And that's why I want you to pick up the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Over 50 pages of strategy after strategy to help you beat your toughest opponents. Those opponents include pushers, counter punchers, aggressive baseliners, servant volleyers, people who put a lot of spin on the ball, old court players, even lefties. When you know how to play these players, you win more matches. To pick up a copy of the singles playbook, just use my link. It's in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach as close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. When you're at the net in singles and you're looking to end the point, you come in, you move your opponent off the court, please do not volley deep. When you volley deep, it's too close for your opponent to get. I want you to take this volley and hit it short angled. This is going to be a much farther ball. The ball is going to go off the court at an angle and you're going to win the point. When you go to the net in singles, make your volley land in the service box so it can leave the court at an angle. And if you do, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.